Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren and welcome to my dorm shopping inspired tips, tricks, do's, don't video. I am filming in a new location right now, so I'm not sure how the audio is going to sound. It is also pouring down rain, so my natural light is completely out of the question. So we're sitting here in my bedroom in my new apartment filming this video. If you're new here, my name is Lauren. I go to the University of Alabama and I am a junior there. I have lived in two different types of dorms. My first freshman year I lived in a suite style dorm so I shared a living space but I had my own room and then last year my sophomore year I lived in my sorority house and I shared a room so I'd say I have a little bit of knowledge here and there about sharing space having your own room dorm rooms in general that I wanted to share with y'all I'm going to be linking I'm going to be linking stuff down below for you anything that I'm talking about if you want to peruse and buy it I know that back to school season is almost in full swing and this is actually like my first official like back to school type video so welcome here but without further ado let's get going with these tips and tricks that you need to know that I wish I knew going into my freshman year Okay, so my first tip for anybody, I think that this is so, so important, is getting a rolling laundry cart. I swear to this, you're going to want it. My freshman year, I lived on the first floor and the laundry room was on the third floor. So I had to go up the elevator, obviously, and clothes can get very, very heavy in a laundry basket. It helped me tremendously taking my laundry with a rolling laundry cart. That is definitely something that I would invest in. When they saw me get in the elevator with the rolling laundry cart, everyone and started buying one. You need it. It'll make your life so much easier. This is a tip that I have, especially if you're going out of state and it's kind of like going to be a new, I don't want to say culture, but it might be kind of a culture shock to you. I saw this so often my freshman year. People coming to Alabama from the north, they aren't used to the fashion, the type of jewelry, makeup, anything like that that we have down here that is more prominent. They aren't used to it. So I say this, obviously keep your own style, do whatever you want but a lot of people want to get different items for college and a different wardrobe not completely but like little things here and there especially if you're going to a big SEC school that has game days and things like that I would say go ahead and buy some basics if you're wanting to change up your wardrobe like I said completely up to you but I would say do a little bit of shopping before but then come on campus and get the vibe of it so if you're wanting to buy new clothes for college, do not buy them yet. I definitely would buy some staples like some body suits, some white tennis shoes, some booties. Again, you don't have to follow this tip because everyone has their own beautiful sense of style. You do not have to follow everyone else on campus. Just a little tip if you do. Next is a sleeping mask or a noise machine. So I have always had my own room my whole entire life. And then I moved into my freshman year dorm, which was a sweet style, which is really nice. But anyways, I didn't need a sleep mask then because obviously I had my own room I controlled my own lights and everything but when my roommates were out in the living area and I was trying to go to bed they would have the TV on sometimes and I wasn't able to really fall asleep so a noise machine really helps I personally like this it's actually right behind me it's called a hatch it's a noise machine but it's also like a sleep routine little thing it's actually really really nice I highly suggest it it literally gives me a sunrise every single morning but think about like your living arrangements especially if you're sharing a room that's when I think that you need the sleeping mask when I lived in my sorority room sometimes my roommate would be up studying late and I would want to go to bed and instead of just telling her to turn off the lights because it's her room too I could just slide on that sleep mask and it was so nice even when she was waking up early and I wanted to sleep in a little bit having that sleep mask really truly helps okay this is a huge thing that I feel like people get it flipped quite often. I feel like this tip is more for those college students who are going to a bigger university, like if that's in a big college town that thousands of people are going to be moving in the same week. Don't wait until last minute to buy your things. This can go with so many different things. I personally am always one to plan ahead. I literally planned out my whole entire dorm room. I know what color scheme, I knew my bedding, I had my bedding, I had everything set up. There was a few things once I got there that I was like, oh, I need something for this area or I forgot this let me go ahead and go and grab it think about it this way so many people are going to be doing the same exact as you looking for the same things as you think about things like Ottomans 
wall art. The only thing I didn't purchase really before going into my dorm was wall art. Like not pictures and everything, but wall art. I waited because I'm like, oh, I can just look while I was there. Big mistake, okay? I walked into Target, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Ross. Everything was wiped out because guess what? Everyone else is looking for wall art too. So I definitely would take that into consideration of how badly you care about decorations and things like that. Obviously, if you're just moving into your dorm and you really don't care about like what it looks like and what you have, go ahead and wait to buy things because they do have things that just might not be in the specific color and things that you want. Things just get sold out very quickly. So I did a ton of online shopping prior to moving into both of my dorms. That leads me into the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by Afterpay. Afterpay allows you to shop now, pay over six weeks, and never charges you interest. With Afterpay, you can buy from thousands of your favorite brands and split your payments over time so you can do four installments over six weeks. And good thing for us college students, there is no external credit checks and the only fees are late fees. I know that post-COVID things are opening up, things are getting different, especially for us students who are going back to school. After we spent a year over laptop screens and zooming back and forth, I think that we're all ready to get back in person and do things in real life. We definitely wanna go back to something better. So Afterpay actually sent me a huge box of back to school necessities and goodies that I can't wait to show y'all. I have things from Ugg, Herschel, Sheen, and Bed Bath & Beyond. So I'm going to be giving you a little haul real quick. So I got these two Herschel backpacks. So amazing for going back to school. It is such good quality. This one is just a plain black color, which honestly I find on campus. Almost everybody has a black backpack. And I think it's also because it's so easy to clean as well. I also got this dusty rose one. I love this for going back to school. I am obsessed. This can definitely fit everything that I am needing. It is so cute with these little buckles at the front. And the best part about this is literally it just snaps. So much space, it is so amazing. Then I got some new shoes from Ugg. I'm obsessed with the brand Ugg. I think they're so cute. These are perfect for your dorm room. Something else that you need is slippers, y'all. People made fun of me for my slippers, but especially like these Ugg ones. You can even walk outside with these and not ruin them. So, so cute. I love these. Y'all know I already own another pair of these in light pink. My favorite slippers ever. Comment down below, do you wear slippers? Are you part of the slipper sisters, slipper, slipper? Mr. Slipper. I don't know. We need to make like a hashtag or something. And then the next pair of Uggs are these slide-ons. Also obsessed with these, especially come for fall. They're so, so comfortable. Y'all know when you have those ADM classes and you want to go in comfy clothes, definitely my go-to shoes. And then the last pair from Ugg, which these are so unique. These are waterproof Ugg boots. So you get the material inside like regular Ugg boots, but you can wear these out in the rain. Y'all never know when it's going to start raining. So having something like this on hand in your dorm room is so amazing. The next few things are from Bed Bath & Beyond. This is such a fun and colorful bedspread. This obviously is the Twin XL. Very, very important to make sure that when you're buying your bedspread that you get the Twin XL. Bed Bath & Beyond has so many options and this is so cute. I love the color of this and it just makes me happy and it just looks like sunshine. I also got this robe. So, so nice for when you want to have self-care nights. It's just a really beautiful floral robe. And then also a shower caddy and this one is so cool it has a place for you to put your phone where if you want to listen to some jams you definitely can just slide your phone in there while you're in the shower and it is waterproof so so nice i didn't have one of these my freshman year but i definitely had one for my sophomore year and this is definitely a big necessity then these are from sheen look at how cute this little crossbody bag is i love having small bags like this in college especially if you're going out with some friends next is this dress this is so cute and comfortable i love wearing dresses like this over the weekend in college if I'm just running to Target. Anything like that. It's so cute. And last but not least, this jean jacket. Another clothing must-have and basic staple that I think everyone should have. So, so cute and a really great price as well. I'm actually going to put this on for the rest of the video because it's a little chilly in here. I love this jean jacket and I love wearing it like off the side, kind of like trendy. Thank you Afterpay for sponsoring this video. If y'all found anything in this haul that y'all wanted, I'm going to be linking it down below for y'all. 
definitely use Afterpay. It is such an amazing thing for college students to have available to them. I know that it has helped me a lot, especially when you're responsible for paying for your dorm and decorations for your dorm. This can truly help you out financially as well. Afterpay definitely makes sure that us college students aren't just going back to school, we are going back to something better. The next tip I have is buy a storage ottoman. This is such a big thing and I didn't think I would want one or need one. I felt like they were so cliche. I felt like everyone had a storage ottoman and I was like, no, this isn't for me. Well, turns out you need a storage ottoman. Whether that be to get on your bed, to store things, anything like that, storage ottoman, I promise you. That is definitely something that you can buy online and get it shipped to your dorm. I wrote this down because I felt like it was very important. I used this in my freshman and my sophomore dorm. Over the door shoe organizer. These are so inexpensive and it helps so much if you have so many shoes like me. Something that I did freshman year that really helped me was pack and bring pictures from home. Especially if you're going away at college, you're going to be missing your family and friends and having pictures of them already in your dorm whenever you say goodbye to them and you're all done moving in, it's really gonna help you. The one splurge item I would tell you to get is a nice mattress topper. No, don't get the cheap one, okay? I got a four inch one and it saved me so much. I used it my freshman and my sophomore year because I did have a twin XL both of those years. So, so nice. I promise you, anyone who came to sit on my bed, all of my roommates were like, wait, this is so comfy because of the mattress topper. If you're gonna splurge on one thing for your dorm, let it be the mattress topper. Your sleep is most important. If you're a planner like me, go ahead and look up some YouTube videos slash pictures, anything that you can find on the internet for your dorm. It is so easy nowadays to go on social media and see people who have lived in your dorm that you're about to be moving into. This definitely helps with decorating, seeing your space, seeing how you wanna lay everything out. Okay, Facebook Marketplace can be your friend, can be your friend. I bought so many big furniture pieces on Facebook Marketplace for so inexpensive. Even if it's the wrong color, you can definitely paint it. I suggest getting chalk paint. It's thicker and it's going to go on a lot nicer and cover up more whenever you're painting it. A lot of things also in my apartment are from Facebook Marketplace. Take that as you will. Be careful with command strips. Both years I use command strips because they don't let you nail into the wall. I feel like nails would be so much easier. No, no. D command strips will rip off the wall and it's scary. You will get fined. <laughs> so please be careful with the command strips. Even with the command hooks because there was one time I think it was I went home for Christmas break and obviously I have all this stuff on my wall. Well I hung up a mirror with command strips because I couldn't use a nail. I came back and that mirror had fallen and shattered all over my dorm. That was my Christmas present my dorm gave me. Think about if you want a TV or not. I didn't have a TV in my room freshman year. I honestly didn't mind it, but my sophomore year when I was in my sorority house, I did have one and I loved it. Make sure when you get it, you get a Roku. That is the easiest thing. Also, because the Roku lets you hook up your headphones, that way it doesn't bother your roommate if you have one in the same room or anyone who might be around you. Laptop desk. This is so important and I use mine every single day. There's going to be some days where you're not going to want to work at your desk or you're not feeling well and you just kind of want to stay in bed, but you may have a lecture, you may have some notes, you may have an essay. The laptop lap desk truly help your computer not from overheating and let you work in bed easily. This is weird. This is a weird one, but bring costumes. I know that sounds kind of odd, but especially if you're going to a big SEC school, especially if you're rushing, you're going to have date parties. You're going to have themed events that you're going to need costumes for. Of course, you can order these things online, but if you have any costumes already, if you have some fun sequin tops or like some boas, anything like that, strangely enough, bring them. You will probably use it. Buy a rug. It's worth it. I promise you. It makes your room feel so cozy. I had a rug my freshman and my sophomore year. My freshman year, I actually had a rug already like in my dorm where like it was already obviously put down. It wasn't hardwood or like concrete or anything, but I still put that rug and it makes it look so cute. It makes it look so cute. And I felt better like with my feet touching that rug than like the other rug. I don't know. I feel like I'd rather have hardwood floors than like a used carpet, especially like in a dorm setting. I don't know. It just kind of sketches me out. If you're contemplating a rug and you're like, mm, 
I don't really know. This is your sign by the rug. Obviously, if you're living in a dorm, you cannot have candles, but that's not an issue. Buy a wax warmer or oil diffusers. Those will save your life. I had both of those things in both of my dorms. I love the oil diffusers best because obviously you can keep these plugged in all the time. It makes my apartment smell good. It made my dorm smell good. Anyone and everyone who walked in always complimented the scent that was going on in my room. They loved it, especially since it's such a small area. It's really easy to like surround smell. <laughs> Get it like surround sound like surround smell. I'm not funny. Anyways, I highly suggest that. They have a ton of options all over the internet, all over different stores. They're not that hard to find and they're quite inexpensive. This is another kind of weird thing, liquid IV. I got so dehydrated my freshman year and I honestly didn't realize that liquid IV was a thing. Also, another thing is BioLite, but BioLite is like an actual like bottle. So those might be kind of hard to transport, but liquid IV is like little packets that you just pour into your water bottle. It's amazing and it helps with dehydration and like rehydrating you. Trust me. You're gonna want some liquid IV. You're gonna want it. Well guys, that was my dorm shopping tips and tricks. I hope that all of you are going to have a fabulous freshman, sophomore, whatever year you're going into college. I know that y'all are going to be amazing and I want y'all to stay safe. Let me know what tip you found the most useful down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanna join the family, you can click that subscribe button also. I love you guys so much and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye.